Hi everyone! So I am back home now and I have my haul to share with you guys but I did stop at the P.O. Box on the way home and I received a card from Kim and look at her return label. It says with God all things are possible. That's so beautiful. I definitely want to save that for my little junk journal. And then inside, oh, she sent us an Easter card. Look how cute that is. Oh, there's some little stickers in here. Oh, those are really pretty. Oh, look at the little flowers. Oh, those are cute. Um, so this is from Kim, Stephen, and Crystal. Thank you guys so, so much for sending me a little Easter card. I love it so, so much. Pretty little bunny. So let me share with you guys what I ended up picking up from... Hobby Lobby. So, um, in the video, I had already shown that they had the t-shirts on clearance. So, for $3.74, this is a v-neck with a pocket. So, I grabbed that one. And I like the sleeves on this one. It has it kind of, like, hemmed up. So, I thought that was really cute. So, I got that one. That's kind of, like, I don't know, like a purple. Like a grape color, I guess you would say. And then I got a black one, $3.74. Same thing, the v-neck with the pocket with the little hemmed up sleeves and then I got a light gray that was $3.74 and this one does not have a pocket and the sleeves are slightly longer because they're not hemmed up and then there was a white one as well but I didn't get the white so I left that one there then all of the puffy paints were on clearance for 67 cents. I got the glow in the dark one. I thought this would be really fun for Halloween. So like if you wanted to just like dab some glow in the dark on the eyes or maybe like in a flower center. So I thought that would be really nice. I was debating if I should get the black or like even like a very light pink. So that way on like little die cuts I could do the eyes with the black puffy paint or the nose with a little light pink one. So they had a lot of those. So I was, I was going to think about it because I was like, mm, I don't know, because I could easily just use my diamond dots and then that way I don't have to spend money, you know, because I have a ton of extra diamond dots. So I don't know. I'm going to think about it. We'll see. And then in the kids section, I did pick up the necklace. It was $1.50 and these are just nice, chunky bubblegum beads. So these are easily got to be like 20 mm beads right here. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. And I'm hoping that they will fit on beatable pens, but for sure they would fit on the Poke Tools that Hobby Lobby sent. So, um, sell. So I figured, you know what, let's cut that apart. Let's go ahead and use that. Then they had, okay, in the Easter section was 66% off and a lot of my store was wiped out. And that section was just so packed with people that I wasn't able to film in there. So hopefully I can get over there sometime this week. But they did have these flat back little bunnies that I thought were so stinking cute. Like it looks like white chocolate and like milk chocolate. And they're flat so that you don't have to worry about like cutting off the button backing. So you get six pieces. And I think these were $1.20 with the 66% off because they are $3.50. So I got those. And then they had this little Nomi guy right here. So he is a little jar. So that's always fun. I love getting these on clearance when I can. So he was normally $6. And I think he came out to $2. And he's super, super cute. And I love that he was in blue. So love that. And they had these wood pieces so you get the egg the bunny another bunny a carrot happy easter that's the one i really really wanted was a happy easter a couple little decorative eggs a chickadee and then a chickie and the egg so these came out to a dollar and then with these wood containers definitely save those you can paint them and make little shadow boxes oh i hope none of these fell out you can make little shadow boxes out of these or i'll put like my pieces in here so that way they don't like roll off my desk when i'm working on stuff so yeah i always save those and then after there i went to dollar tree because i was trying to find the new stamps and i did not find them but i did find the mini monopoly and somebody had sent like the little mini monopoly pieces in my build your stash swap and then somebody else in the comments had said that you know to buy the little mini pieces from dollar tree so i was like i never even thought to do that so apparently they even have like little mini uno cards but i didn't find those so they had Monopoly, I think, and Sorry. And I was like, let me just get the Monopoly and see how it is. So, oh, yeah, this would be cute. Oh, oh, 
Oh no, I just dropped something. So this would be really cute. Oh my god, they have little baby dice in here. Oh, Sunny is going to die. He loves little dice, so I'll give him those. Oh yeah, look, here is the little money. How stinking cute. I never would have thought to pick this up from Dollar Tree if, you know, somebody wouldn't have mentioned it. How fun would this be to make a junk journal out of? Maybe I do need the other game boards. Okay. I'm convinced I need to go get the other game boards because this would be so cool to turn into a junk journal and have like a little game. Oh, this would be a really good size too to make a junk journal out of. It's probably like a TN size, a traveler notebook size. Oh my gosh. Okay, I am going to go back. I'm going to get the other one and then when I go to other stores, I'll have to see what other games they have available because yes, this would be so fun to make a little junk journal out of. I'm hooked on like making junk journals. Oh, this is gonna be so fun. Yep, I'm in. And then I'm definitely gonna save this to go ahead and use for a little junk journal as well. And then for like a dollar twenty-five, that's a lot of pieces. That is so cool. I can't remember. I think it was Jackie who had recommended getting the little mini game boards from Dollar Tree. Um, so thank you so much for that recommendation and now I'm hooked now I need them all <laughs> and um, I got some watermelon candy from Dollar Tree and then the last item I got was these little bag packs now I haven't bought one of these in a while but when I was walking by the brown shimmer right here caught my attention and I feel like it's really hard to find brown glitter paper or shimmer paper so I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and snatch one up. And they had a ton that I was like, mm, should I buy more? And now that I'm looking through it, I probably should have because, oh, look. It has like textured paper in here. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of pretty. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I should have bought a couple more of these packs because for $1.25, this is a really good bundle. See, like the brown glitter papers that I really wanted because I just feel like it's really hard. The other day I was trying to um, die cut a tree branch and I could not find pretty brown paper anywhere. Oh, this is thick. So, oh yeah, I'm definitely going to probably go back and get another pack just to have in my stash. Oh yeah, see, look shimmer paper love this all right you guys so that's my little haul for today thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys are having a wonderful day and we'll see you later bye guys